Well, the phone just rang before, and it was a reverse charges call, so I knew who it was. It had to be Pete Dennehy. Well, and do yeah. you? It's the old, it's the old yak and dander tight ass. That's, that's the is. one. How you going, Pete? Yeah, going well. Going well. Now, a big weekend next weekend with Gimpy coming up, but also yeah. uh, at the end of the month coming up, a brand new album out too, mate. Yeah, well, actually, it could be a little later than the end of the month now. We've uh, just we've had a couple of just little things we've had to tidy up, so it's probably going to be early September, but yeah, yep, um, a brand new and it's, uh, it's funny that sort of like, I, I put one out about this time last year as well, but this is a, this isn't a comedy album, so it's um, bluegrass pretty much. Well, we've had a bit of a sneak peek, um, you sent us off the song Singing Shoes, we've got a couple of questions about it, question number one, who's doing the harmonies, and question number two, how many instruments are being played in this song and how many are you actually playing? Ah, uh, well, this is where it's a little yeah. different from the last one. I'm playing one instrument. Wow. Which one's yeah. that? The vocal. I'm playing mandolin. The, the intro right at the start is probably where you hear most of the mandolin, but I'm, I'm like mandolin chop. On this record, I just want to do something really different. So I've got another fiddle player. It's a, it's a girl called Kat Mir playing fiddle, and she's also doing the backing vocals. And George Jackson on banjo, John Edgar on double bass, Dan Watkins on guitar, Pete Fiddler on dobro. That's the band. And, and we recorded this really old style, actually. We didn't wear headphones when we recorded. We just sat around in a circle with mics on us. If someone mucked their part up, well, we had to do the whole thing again. The only overdubs were actually the backing vocals, and there's one song on it that's got a, tri a triple fiddle part. And because I play fiddle, and also George Jackson, the banjo player, he's a great fiddle player. We overdubbed the triple fiddle part for one of the songs. and But the rest of it's all just recorded live. So pretty much everything you're hearing on this track, except for Kat's backing vocal, is just live. We're just sitting there. And we didn't really know what it sounded like till we got in the control room and had a listen. We've heard the song Singing Shoes, and I, you can't help but get up sing along dance to it it's just it's gravitating oh thanks trace yeah um it's a song it's based on a, an old bloke from banala in victoria who uh, was a great old horseman there but i think the idea for it came from um if like if i work my one of my horses here in town or i'd ride her through town to get to the sports park at the other side of town there's a nice sand yard down there the Yakandanda Riding Club. And when I ride it through the main street, uh, a lot of people's heads turn because they can hear the shoes coming for miles. And I thought, oh, that's just on, on my mare. Like, she'd only weigh 400 kilos or whatever. But if you've got those great big Clydes pulling a lorry, well, they're, they're, they're going to make a bit... They, and they do make a bit more noise because I've driven harness horses around t and Aubrey as well. But uh, that's, that's where the idea came from. And I really wanted to record this album like I did and, and I got really great pickers from Melbourne. It was one of the most enjoyable recording um, sessions I've ever done. But, um, yeah, it's, look, I've, I've... And I did a bit of co-writing on this. There's one on this record. I, when the album comes out, I'll send you up a copy, but it's got a song that Troy and I wrote, Troy Cassidale and I wrote. Yep. Um, I was up there writing for his record last year and we wrote seven songs in two days. Well, he's put three of them on his Freedom Ride record, which is a great record. Okay. And I've used one. I said, are you going to use this song? Do you mind if I use it? Ah, no, go ahead. So um, I've put that on and, and I wrote another one with a young fella called Vinnie Russell from Dan here is a great musician and songwriter and a real talent. You know, and he's, not, you know, he's just sort of starting out. He's going to do some big things, I reckon. For well, sure. I, think, but, uh, I think this album's going to do a lot of big things. You got so oh, much, you reckon? Oh, well, you've got you so much involved. You reckon I'll have to watch into... out for the paparazzi even oh, more down here? Definitely, what? mate. You'll have to, like, put the, the, what do you call the scarf over your head and put the dark yeah. sunnies on. You'll be going. And, and we're going to be, and we're going to send out the, up as it is. we're going to send out the spoiler alert now, folks. If you want to mug, I will not mug, if you want to mob Muggy. if you want to mob <laughs> pete dennehy and find out about this new music you'll be able to do it at the gimpy muster this weekend yep. next I'm weekend gonna take, i'm going to take pre-orders i was going to so. say you have to take yep. pre-orders for them because yep. um pete's going to be at the muster thursday friday saturday and sunday at 11 o'clock right through to one o'clock at the muster club with the pete dennehy presents it doesn't really tell us what he's presenting but he's presenting something between 11 and one and yeah there'll the, be some special guests i'm sure there will be and then sunday at one o'clock over in the great the music hall there and as you said Pete will be taking pre-orders so, but we're going to do a sneaky anyway and we're going to play it tonight sounds great Good. Oh, thanks a lot I, and, and thanks very much for playing this song I really appreciate oh, that look it's got a great tune I'll tell you what folks get a hold of Pete uh, up there at Gimpy Muster get the pre-order because you're going to love this album because it's a cracker